Today I want to talk about five tips for creating your personal budget. So first let's talk about what is a budget. And a budget is simply a spending plan. It's a plan that helps you to track your household expenses. So let's start with number one. Number one is gathering your expenses or your bills. If you get a blank sheet of paper, get your favorite notebook, um, or do like myself, which is a system that I've been using for over 10 years, is I would use an Excel spreadsheet. And I would list those expenses, whether it's, you know, for here in Michigan, we have DTE or Consumers Energy for your heating or electric, um, internet bill, um, your grocery bill, list all of those household expenses, your insurance for your vehicle, gas. You want to list those things down. And then next to it, I will put a call in where you will put the amount that you pay monthly. And then next to that, I will also maybe want to include the due date. And then next to that, if you have any items such as credit cards, because that's something else that you can consider an expense. If you pay monthly credit card bills, let's say you owe $500 and you pay the minimum balance for $25 a month until that's paid off. You may want to put what that total amount is so that you can watch that number go down and hopefully go to zero. So that's number one. Number two is income. We want to know what is your net income and you want to write that down. Next, what you want to do is you want to subtract your expenses that you have total up. You total those expenses and you want to subtract that total from your income. What that bottom line is that you bring in monthly after taxes. And so once you do that, you want to evaluate your outcome. And your outcome, you want to be in what we would consider the black and not the red. And so you're in the black, meaning that you have enough money to cover your expenses monthly, whether you have just $2, but you are still in the black, which is a great thing. And if you're in the red, this is another case to evaluate needs versus wants. And so you can just go down the list of your expenses that you just made in Excel or on that sheet of paper or in that notebook and put N's and W's. N's is for needs, which is what you want to focus on are those things that you need to pay. And you may not be able to adjust. You may not be able to go to your landlord and say, hey, I need to uh, come down on the more on the rent or go to your mortgage company. And say, hey, I need to come down on my mortgage. Those are things that you need and they are will be considered fixed, usually the same payment every month. And so what we want to focus on are those W's, not wins, but wants. What are those things that you can adjust? That could be grooming. Maybe you can change getting your hair cut from twice a month to once a month. The subscriptions, Hulu, Netflix, those are things maybe you can put a pause on until you get your finances in order where you have uh, uh, overflow in your finances so that you can enjoy that entertainment. And so after you do that, I would suggest having a budget meeting. And that can be weekly, that can be bi-weekly, um, that can be month monthly, whatever you decide is best. But I would at least once a month sit down and review your budget so that you can make any adjustments. And those adjustments can come from maybe you got a raise on your job. Maybe you got a decrease on your job. That could have came from maybe you lost your job. Um, I know many times with companies cutting costs, and sometimes that cost can include um, cutting salaries in half, maybe by 10%. Um, maybe you just had a baby, so that's adding, and there's another expense that you're adding. And so those are things that you can look at um, and talk about with your spouse or with your, your partner or just if it's just you, things that you can look at so you can make those adjustments in your budget. Or if there is no adjustment, you're just viewing it to make sure to see, huh, maybe I can take this extra $10 and put it in my savings account. Maybe I can take this extra $10 and pay this bill off quicker and so and then a few few tips two nuggets that i want to give you is that today it's 2022 we have moved away from spreadsheets and we look more to using apps and technology and so um, they have uh, several apps that you can use so you can track your spending if you're not a fan of writing it down on a piece of paper or you're not a fan of doing this in an excel spreadsheet um, there are two apps that are very popular. I know one that I've used a lot and one that I've had a client use that they love. One is Truebill and another one that I've used is Mint. And so you can look, Google those um, two apps and see if those are something that fit your lifestyle. 
Um, and then the next thing I would say is ways to make more money. So sometimes you you may not be able to make any change. Maybe you have all needs in your um and with your expenses. And so what you may need to do is think about how can I make more money? Maybe you can pick up a second job, a part-time job. Um, maybe there's things that you can think about. What can I do? What skill do I have that people always talk about that I do well that maybe you can get extra income? Babysitting, cooking, you know, they have Uber. Um, they have all type of things today that uh, you can get involved in to make extra money to increase your monthly income.